Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So for today's tutorial, we're gonna be doing this makeup look right here. I really played off of bright oranges and cranberry colors, kind of slowly transitioning into fall. There's definitely gonna be more dark, vampy fall looks coming to my channel pretty soon, so don't worry about that. This is my summer transitioning into fall makeup look. If you guys are interested in this makeup look, then keep on watching. I'm gonna be using all the stuff I'm gonna be using all the stuff from the Ipsy Glam Bag this month. The first thing in the bag is the Visanti Brighten Up Enzyme Face Rejuvenator. It's an exfoliating cleanser enriched with papaya. Because it's supposed to help with fine lines, wrinkles, and brighten up your skin. Next, I'm gonna use a moisturizer to prep my skin. This is the Now Bay Oxygenating Cream Moisturizer, and it's organic. This is also gonna be like a base for our makeup. Next, I'm picking up the Temp2 Liquid Highlighter, and I'm gonna be mixing this with my foundation just to give it a little bit of dew. And the foundation I'm gonna be using is the Makeup Forever HD Foundation. This, I'm gonna be applying that with a beauty blender. Kind of breaking out right now, because, <laughs> you know. I'm gonna quickly run some brow gel through my eyebrows. This one is by Elizabeth Mott and it's the Queen of the Fill Tinted Brow Gel in medium dark. A little tiny spoolie. Brush kind of has a lot of product on it. And just brush through my brows really quickly. For my brows, I'm gonna be using the Anastasia Brow Wiz in caramel. For my eyeshadow base, I'm gonna be using the Smashbox 24 Hour Photo Finish uh, Shadow Primer. I'm gonna apply it with this Zoeva buffer brush really quick, and then I'm gonna take my fluffier Japanese 915 brush and just kind of buff it away into the skin. So my eyebrows got a little dark today. I don't know what happened. It kind of kept messing up, and then it's a pretty strong brow. I'm going into my Inglot palette and picking up this bright orange eyeshadow, and I'm taking a 213 Lux. Petite Crease Brush by Zoeva. I think I'm gonna start on the lower lash line. I haven't applied concealer yet. You guys know I usually like to do that first, but I'm breaking all the rules today, so. Wing out the orange a bit. What I like to do is take like the edge of something, like this, and line it up the lower lash line, my brow, and then just kinda like go like this so I can get a good edge. Some people do this with tape, but ain't nobody got time for tape. I'm just gonna keep my eye open and just start applying the shadow, following the shape of my crease. Looking it all the way in the inner corner here. I'm just gonna keep building up the intensity of this orange shadow. I'm actually gonna pick up I, I did on accident, but I kind of like it. I'm picking up some of the red from the palette, uh, this red color right here, and mixing it with the orange, just because I found the orange isn't like really getting as bright as I want it to, so I'm gonna mix those two together. Still trying to keep it mostly orange, though. I'm gonna pick up a cream-colored eyeshadow, clean up the edges, and highlight the brow bone with it. So I put a little bit of purple on my lid, but I wasn't really feeling it, so. We're gonna move on to something else. I'm gonna take uh, a dark brown eyeshadow. This is the new Lorac palette. I'm gonna be taking Cabernet and a little bit of Saddle on the same brush, and I'm gonna go through and kind of ground this uh, neon, it looks like neon orange now on camera. I'm gonna ground it a little bit with some dark brown just so it doesn't look as, uh, what's the word I'm looking for? Zombie-ish. So I'm just going right underneath the orange. But with the Sigma, this is the Sigma Blending E25 brush. Whatever is on the brush from blending the crease, I'm just gonna blend out the lid. So it has a little bit of that orange on it. I'm just gonna kind of use the whole lid together. Not putting any more eyeshadow on it, just kind of blending it out, because I want it to kind of look still like skin peeking through. I'm gonna use the Kat Von D Liner and Trooper. This part is a little bit tricky just because I need to draw the perfect wing 
but keep the inside of the wing empty. Take deep breaths. Here we go. Open the best. Shouldn't have had that venti latte, cause now my hand is shaking. All right, I still need to fill in the eyeliner, but I'm waiting for Katie to bring me a glitter, so uh, I'm gonna finish my face really quick. I'm using the Tarte Creaseless Concealer and I'm mixing tan and medium sand together. Medium sand's just a little bit lighter than tan, so it's gonna brighten it up. Plop it on my under eye. I'm trying to stay away from my eyeshadow. And I'll take my beauty blender and just pat it in. This eyeliner did not cooperate, just so you know. It ended up looking slightly different. I also feel like I have less lid space on this eye. This one is almost like a normal, just one solid fold in the crease. This one has like multiple folds. And if you notice, like my lid space is a lot smaller than on this eye. So I kind of always have a hard time making them look even when I'm doing like a graphic liner. Just going back in with the orange eyeshadow now that we applied our concealer and just kind of blending it out so it doesn't look weird and like not blended into the concealer. We're gonna set the under eyes. I'm using my Laura, Larm, whoa. To set the under eyes, I'm using the Laura Mercier Translucent Powder, Japanese 915 brush. I'm going to pick up a little bit of the brown we used in the crease and just pop that on the outer part of the eye. I'm using a Makeup Geek Defined Crease Brush. For my bronzer today, I'm gonna to be using this one. It is it's a Terracotta Bronzing Powder in shade 03. This one. And to apply that, I'm using my MAC 168 brush. Ugh, let me pull my hair back real quick. My bangs so I could do my hairline. Next I'm using the blush by Sigma. This one is in the shade Hot Spot and this is also in collaboration with Camilla, YouTuber. It's perfect for the eye look. Child, that is a pigmented blush. For highlighter, I'm using the Anastasia Beverly Hills Highlighter in So Hollywood. I'm gonna apply that with my MAC 137 brush. Just to the tops of the cheekbones. Tip of my nose. Along the very, very top of the bridge and on my cupid's bow. Is that Katie? Is she here? <gasps> Mom! Look at our eyeshadow kind of looks the same, which is so weird. Is that weird? Considering we didn't plan it, yeah. And because I don't wear these colors ever. I know. Do you think it looks good on me? We're twins. I don't think I like it on me. I think it looks good. Thank you. I actually do think it looks you good look on like me. Orange. I'm just testing you. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> All right, so I'm gonna take some MAC Mixing Medium on the back of my hand that Katie so graciously brought for me. And some Inglot 82 Glitter. It's like a pigment. It's more, a pigment. it's more of a pigment. It's like goldish. Like crushed metal is what I like to call it. Crushed metal. I'm here with mom right now. She's filming, but I don't really care. I don't really care about my life. Nope. This is supposed to be our collab day, so here it is. I love how I'm like in the middle of a tutorial. You're just in the background. Oh yeah, this is, I'm living right now for this. All right, and for the inner waterline, I'm gonna use this liner by JCAT, and it's in the, sh it's a waterproof slide-on pencil in the shade 
bronze. Ardell Demi Wispies. I really want the eyeliner to show, so we're gonna go with more of a natural lash. So I already popped it on this side. I'm just gonna go ahead and put it on this one. Lipstick, I'm gonna be using One of a Kind by City Color. It's just like a long-lasting nude lipstick. It has kind of like a peachy pink undertone, so it goes really nicely with the rest of the colors on our face. Lastly, in the bag, we have the Octavio Molina. This is actually a friend of mine who is amazing. So this is an argan oil. Just gonna pop some of this through my ends. All right guys, so that is it for this tutorial. I really hope that you enjoyed it. Give it a thumbs up if you did. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel. Of course, leave me any requests. Oh, oh, oh wait, good one, actually. I would love it if you guys left me Halloween requests. No mermaids, no vampires, something different. Um, I think I've already done a vampire and a mermaid actually. So I wanna do s different stuff. I have a few ideas in mind, but I'm gonna start filming these tutorials next week. So I really hope that you guys give me some good ideas in the comments down below. And yeah, that's pretty much everything. I'll see you guys in my next tutorial. Bye. I'm gonna use my hot one. And I brought this. Perfect. Without you even asking me. You're just a goddess sometimes. Keep going. I love you so much. Thank you. So would this be too pink? No, I'm not eating frozen yogurt. I ate chips for lunch, so. Oh, I kind of like the pink one. Pink one? Let's go with the pink. It just has a little zhuzh. It's got a lot of zhuzh. Got a lot of zhuzh. It just would have been like mush. Yeah. You would have been ugly. Pink. <laughs> <laughs> there we go. <laughs> Give it to me. <laughs>